the ESA Boys and Girls Championships is back in 2022. And on the second day of the competition, we saw arguably the race of the championship so far. We saw the highly anticipated matchup between the Clayton Twins and Brianna Liston over the 100 meters. Coming into the championships, many had predicted that Liston was poised to take her revenge of the Twins for the Class 3 defeats. However, just as we have seen this year, you have to deliver at the right moment, or all your previous work may be undervalued, which was the case for young Liston, who eventually lost a very close race to Tina Clayton, the world junior champion over the event. Clayton won an 11.23, just dropping 0.10 short of the record of 11.13 seconds. Though a tenth of a second in the 100 meter dash may seem quite far apart, Tina Clayton's run was a better performance than the championship record, seeing that she ran in a headwind of 2.8 meters per second. Meanwhile, Veronica Campbell Brown ran the champ's record in a supporting wind of 1.2 meters per second. Tina, who had a personal best of 11.09 prior to the championships, would have obliterated her personal best without any headwind. She would have run 11.03 at 0.0 meters per second and at 10.92 at 2.0. An insanely fast time for a 17-year-old girl. She would have taken down the national junior record as well as removed Cadence Hill's age group record of 10.98. It is also crazy to think she managed to turn over at a rate of 4.45 steps per second and complete the race in 50 strides. Averaging a stride length of 2 meters is indeed unreal. This is the same amount of strides Elaine Thompson Hurrah took to complete the 100 meters at the Olympics, in which she ran a new Olympic record. And looking at the mere fact that Elaine is a taller athlete shows just how much power this young sprinter possesses and how much potential as well. Tina won this race, keeping herself on top. And surely now it can be confirmed that she is an absolute danger going forward.